Hey guys, Andrew Beckford here to give you my impressions of Forza Motorsport 5. Now, if you've been paying attention to the site, you kind of notice that I'm sort of a big fan of Forza. Not as big as some of the other fans out there, but, you know, I like the game. So I was pretty excited to play the newest installment in the series, especially since it's on a next-gen console. Um, I actually got to play the game twice, uh, once with the Xbox One controller, and again with the Thrustmaster uh, steering wheel prototype, which is something I'll get into a little bit later. Uh, the first thing that I want to say about Forza Motorsport 5 is that it is freaking beautiful. I mean, the kind of detail that the team, Turn 10, uh, went into on each car is mind-blowing. Like, it's very difficult to discern what's photoreal from something that's obviously computer-generated. I mean, I won't go as far as to say that everything looks photoreal, but it's, it's damn close. Uh, everything from the dashboard to sunlight coming through the windshield and then reflecting the dashboard onto the windshield, it's all there. Like, they spared no expense. They did no skimping or cutting of corners here. Like, it is a top-notch visual experience. So, just getting that out of the way, like, there's no worries about how the game looks. It looks awesome. Uh, as far as how the cars handle, uh, when I played with the Xbox One controller, I used the McLaren P1, which happened to also be on display uh, in the game. And... Uh, the thing I noticed is that the handling or the physics seem much more uh, precise, I guess, if I had to come up with a word for it. Uh, it is not as forgiving as it was in Forza Motorsport 4, and this is with some assist on. Uh, I kept on the analog brakes. I believe I kept on traction control uh, the first time I played it, and it was still... It was still a handful, and I think that'll be good news to many of the people who are quite accustomed to Forza and the way that the physics work, but it might be bad news for someone who's new uh, coming into the series, and you know, this might be, you have to understand that for a lot of people, Forza 5 might be their first Forza game, but the good news is, you know, all the assists are still there to kind of wean you into uh, a better driver, and then as you get better, you can turn them off. Uh, they went through a lot of trouble to sort of redo their physics system from the ground up and it shows uh, you can feel everything and I think that's also in part to the fact that when you're driving especially with Xbox One controller the triggers now vibrate so you don't get resistance from the triggers as you would if you were pushing a pedal with your feet but depending on the terrain that you're on you can feel it in the trigger or if you get too hard on the brakes or if you're uh you know putting the throttle down at the corner or the corner exit like you can feel it and that sort of lends a whole new driving dynamic uh, when you're playing because it sort of lets you know that you need to adjust your throttle and brake inputs it's not just something to be a cool effect or to, you know to feel cool it actually helps you uh, drive better so Everything has been improved from what I can tell. I mean, I only played one short level. It was the McLaren P1 in Prague, which was, you know, awesome. And the cool thing about the Prague track is that there are several terrain surface uh, differences. So there's cobblestone, there's asphalt, there's concrete. And each time the car changes to a different uh, surface, you can tell right away. Not only in, you know, the vibrations coming through the triggers, but in the way that the car will behave, it actually reacts to the different uh, texture, road textures, to put it you know differently. So, as far as gameplay, handling, physics, and appearance, you guys have nothing to worry about there. My one concern is not so much with the game, but with the Thrustmaster steering wheel. Uh, right now, it is unsure whether or not Thrustmaster will be the official wheel for Forza, but it is known that Thrustmaster is the official wheel for the Xbox One. Um, nobody knows if the current crop of 
fan attack or fanatic wheels will work with Forza. So it's all a big mystery. But when I used the Thrustmaster wheel on the simulator at E3, there was a few things that kind of troubled me. Actually, well, just one. The steering wheel itself was awesome. It felt very crisp, uh, very responsive to my uh, steering inputs. Uh, the problem I had was with the brakes, or the pedals, actually. They were using uh, very kind of cheap-looking plastic pedals that did not have very much resistance at all. And again, this was a prototype. I'm not saying that this will be the final product, but it was a little bit of cause for concern. Plus, the wheel unit itself was massive. But also, again, I think that was because maybe they might have been covering it up. Uh, they didn't want anybody to see what it looked like because it is a prototype uh, piece of hardware. So I'm hoping very much that, you know, when Thrustmaster releases their final version of their Xbox One wheel, as some higher quality pedals and the actual unit itself uh, shrinks down in size because I mean it was a big box like you could fit a human head in there that's not it's not a joke I'm not saying you should try you're trying to measure it but it was pretty big but other than that my experience with Forza was pretty pretty good uh, the guys obviously put a lot of work into Forza 4 which is amazing they only had four years to make it which seems like a long time, but when you think of everything that's gone into it, that's a very short amount of time, but since they've had all the other games to build off of, it helped along in the process. Uh, I hope you guys are a great so if you're kind of holding out uh, on an Xbox One to see if Forza Motorsport 5 is worth it, I'd say it's definitely worth it. Pull the trigger, do what you have to do. Um, if you're not worried about the online thing, which I believe Microsoft has reversed, uh, this is there's it's a no-brainer if you like forza you got to get xbox one you got to get this game if you like driving games and you want something for the next gen since gran turismo is not on the ps4 yet uh this is a good way to go uh now we're just kind of waiting on the whole steering wheel situation if you're a steering wheel guy but other than that uh so far because i haven't played the full game I'd give it a, you know, all A's across the board. Uh, turn 10, Dan Greenwald, they all, they did it again. It's an awesome game. Can't wait to play the full version. Hopefully I'll have an Xbox One uh, when it launches so I can give you guys my full review. But so far, things are definitely on the right track.